Hello, it's nice. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's Sunday sit down or Sunday self care video is about self care and self care routines and what self care is not. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so for today's video, we're kind of just doing like a little rose situation and talking about self-care and what it is not. I feel like whenever we think of self-care or look up self-care videos, it's like my morning self-care routine or my nighttime self-care routine. Like we have narrowed self-care down to pampering yourself. We've narrowed self-care down to like facial products and skincare and relaxing Sundays and doing nothing while all of that is important and it is a part of self-care I think we forget like the most important aspects of self-care which are the day-to-day -day things that we need to be doing in addition to the pampering of the skin to the many, many skin products to the candles and the bathtubs. And like, if you saw my previous self-care video, like I feel like that is what we think of when we think of self-care. So this video, I wanted to dial it back and talk about the things that we should be doing on the daily that people forget is also a part of self-care. Number one, based on my like personal Snapchat and people that I know, I have come across people where it's just so hard for them to do daily chores, like especially in a pandemic. There was one girl, she was talking about how, you know, she felt so accomplished because she finally washed her dishes. And, you know, some people are like, that's that's gross like why would you let your dishes pile up but I think we forget that especially in a pandemic we're feeling very isolated or people even not in a pandemic sometimes feel very isolated and we let everyday things go unattended everyday things like washing your dishes everyday things like doing your laundry everyday things like cleaning your house so I think that we forget that is also a part of self-care and self-love. Yes, it's something you should do for cleanliness because cleanliness is next to godliness, but we will digress, okay? We're not judging here. Um, it it goes deeper than, than stress. There's some underlying issues there with maybe stress or anxiety or maybe a little bit of depression when you let everyday things like washing your dishes or cleaning your house go undone. But with that being said, once you do do those everyday things like cleaning your house, like clean your house, light a candle, like you feel so good that your living space is clean and it's livable. And that in itself is self-care. So self-care is not just taking care of yourself, but it is taking care of your living environment, okay? It gets into your spirit when your living space is clean, as well as when it's not clean, that also gets into your spirit. Like cluttered living space, cluttered mind. So unclutter your living space. That's a part of self-care. Right, number two of self-care is not isolating yourself. Like, I think when we think of self-care, we think of, oh, a night in, I'm gonna pamper myself, blah, 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 like I said. But yeah, that is self-care. Also not isolating yourself. It's like, don't be so engulfed in everything you have to do and clearing your mind and being positive and all that stuff that you forget that there is a whole world of people out there and you need to go be a part of that world. Like self-isolation, we've made it seem like it's just this grand, amazing thing. Like, um, I don't hang out with anyone. Like, I don't hang out with people. Why? Hang out with people. Like, I catch myself where I just want to be alone 
And next thing I know, like weeks have passed and I haven't hung out with anyone and I have to check myself. Like, no, you need to check in with people around you. You need to check in with your friends, your family. Like you need to check in with people, like really check in, not just like, oh, I'm fine in passing. Like really go out to lunch, go eat, have a girl's night, like check in with people. That is also a part of self-care. My next point about self-care is check in with your goals. A lot of time we make like New Year's resolutions or we just say in passing to ourselves or other people like, I wanna do this, I wanna accomplish this. But we sometimes we don't consistently check in with ourselves with those goals and we let them go undone. Like breaking your promises to yourself, it does something to you mentally to where you, like you have this mindset of, um, I'm not gonna keep that promise. Like you, you know how when there's a friend and they're kind of unreliable, so you don't take anything they say seriously. When you break your promises to yourself and don't check in on yourself with your goals, you become that friend to yourself where you don't take anything else that you say serious. Like you're like, oh, I'm gonna start that business. But in your heart of hearts, you know you're not gonna do that because you know like, you don't keep your promises to yourself. So keeping your promises to yourself is also a form of self-neglect. And that is what we need to change. Like self-care is, keeping your promises to yourself is a part of self-care. Because when you break your promises to yourself, when you don't check in with yourself on your goals, when you don't say what you, what when you don't do what you say you're gonna do, that's a form of self-neglect and that's not caring for yourself. That's not loving yourself properly. And if you don't do that, who will? So the last thing that I feel like is super important with self-care, and this is the one that I myself am the most guilty of and I am struggling with this so bad. I think the last important part of self-care is your self-image. Hear me out. So your self-image is how you see yourself, accepting yourself how you are right now. But there's a catch to that. In addition to accepting yourself how you are right now, self-care is being honest with yourself and letting yourself know when you have gotten a little too wild with your relationship with food, when you have gotten a little too wild with skipping out on the gym, when you have gotten a little too wild with saying, I don't need a change for nobody. You absolutely do. You need to change for yourself. And if you absolutely are confident and you love yourself exactly the way you are, perfect. But let's be honest, be honest with yourself. If you know that you are carrying a few extra pounds to where you just don't feel comfortable wearing certain things that you would love to see yourself in, then you are neglecting yourself. I am struggling with that so bad. Like I, with my weight gain, it was, it was gradual and I saw it coming and I could have stopped it at any point but I neglected myself so badly at one point that I literally, I would tell myself, um, I'm going to start tomorrow or Monday is the perfect time to start. Like I'll start Monday. I'll start Monday. I'm going to monitor what I eat. Um, I'm going to work out. I'm going to have a plan. I'm going to get it together and I'm not gaining any more weight. I kid you not. I am... Let's see, I'm 60 pounds over, 60 pounds later of me telling myself, oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. Like, I'll be okay. 60 pounds later, I've had to buy new jeans. I can't wear the clothes I used to wear. I, like, I look at the things that I have in my closet from when I was... <laughs> 
so much lighter than I am now. And I just, I'm shook and I'm shocked at the self neglect. So self care is being honest with yourself and loving yourself enough to make a change, like a real change. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm struggling with it. I didn't gain 60 pounds overnight, so I'm not going to lose it overnight. That's another thing. Like, be honest with yourself. To me, I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose it real fast. I'll lose it in a month. No, I didn't gain it all in a month. What makes me think I would lose it in a month? So that is where I'm at right now. Like, to the point where I don't even like to wear short sleeve shirts. Like, I, I'm at that point and I realized like, the self-neglect was real. So self-care is not just the hippie night in relaxing wine, which is amazing. I love that stuff like more than anyone. I love that stuff. But self-care is also being honest with yourself and working to where you want to get in every aspect of your life. Brains, body, brand. Those three things are super important. That's it for this video. It's pretty long. But I hope you enjoyed this Sunday sit down self-care Sunday. Um, I will see you for Tuesday, True Story Tuesday. This one is a doozy. <laughs> Come back for True Story Tuesday, okay? Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.